I'm Dr. Leanne Brady, um, and it's really my privilege to get to do a series of videos for the AACD on caries risk assessment and prevention. And so I will tell you that um, caries and I have an interesting history. I've been practicing dentistry for about 32 years, and I can remember being in dental school in the 1980s, and we were actually discussing the fact that caries would disappear as a disease. So we were looking at epidemiological trends and the reduction in caries, and actually predicting that we would actually outsmart this disease and it would disappear. And here I am 32 years later in my practice, and I have to tell you that I actually think that I see more caries in my practice today than I did 32 years ago when I got out of dental school. Now, it's a different disease. So I don't see a lot of childhood caries in my practice, and that's really my patient demographic. So I don't have a family practice. I have a adult restorative and cosmetic practice. Majority of the patients in my practice are 50 years and up, but I spend a lot of time in my practice having conversations with patients in their 50s, 60s, or 70s who have spent their entire adult lives trying to take care of their teeth and save their teeth. They haven't had a cavity in decades, and now this is the second or third hygiene visit where they've come in and they have decay. And sometimes it is brand new decay in a surface of a tooth that's never been treated. And often, as you would imagine, it's recurrent decay around the margins of a crown or the margins of a filling or a restoration. And now really having to look at um, how are we going to help this patient so that they can continue to save their teeth for the rest of their lives. And so I actually got really curious about caries um, in this practice in Phoenix, Arizona, partly because of my patient population and the fact that I knew my patients were getting frustrated and I was getting frustrated for them. So I made the decision to go back and invest some time um, and some of my dental education looking at caries as a disease and learning more about it. And I have to tell you, I did it with a little bit of resistance because I really went, I know what causes this. I know why people get cavities, um, but I will tell you that I went and I put myself in those CE cor courses anyway. And what I learned was I was right. I knew a lot about the disease called caries and that in the 30 years since I'd gotten out of dental school and studied it, we've learned a lot about this disease process. And we know a lot of things in addition to what I learned and some of the things I learned really we don't consider valid anymore. So there was new information. And so what I really want to do as we talk through this video series is um, give you both a series of ways to assess people's caries risk, and we're going to talk about the CAMBRA protocol in the next video. And then we'll also talk about management strategies. And so what can we do once we know a patient's caries risk, mild, moderate, or severe, to help them so that they get cavities less frequently? Um, and this, for me, builds on a premise from probably one of my all-time favorite quotes in dentistry from Bob Barkley, which is, our job as dentists is to help our patients get worse at the slowest possible rate. So I really focus a lot of my attention in my practice on risk assessment, whether that's caries, perio, or function, and then on risk management and helping my patients understand what we can do to slow the process that's damaging their oral health, um, in addition to actually treating them and fixing teeth and repairing damage that's already there. So in the next video, we're actually gonna dive into the CAMBRA protocol. And so one of the things you might wanna do before you watch the next video is Google the CAMBRA form. So it's big C, little a, M-B-R-A, carries management by risk assessment. And if you can get a CAMBRA form from the ADA or your state organization or any of the companies that sells preventive products, might be helpful as we go through it to have looked at those questions.